Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 1st of August and the time has just gone 11.35 British summer time. This week's Chart of the Week is going to be the Dow Jones. Um, the Dow Jones only last week hit a multi-month multi high, which really sums up a lot about the, the sentiment of the Dow Jones. And taking a look at the price action throughout 2018, uh, we can see that after, even though it had a pretty rocky start and a pretty sizable correction, uh, in the early part of the year, it has been broadly moving higher over the last number of months. And as I, as I said, it did manage to hit uh, it's, it's a multi-month high, its highest level since late February only last week. Uh, starting off, if you take a if you take a look at the uh, at the from the, the lows of uh, of February, and if you draw a line a, a trend line between the lows of February to the lows of April and through May, you can see this this line here is actually a very decent support. So. You get very decent trend line support uh, from, from this this this, this uh, line here, uh, and essentially while it holds above that that that, um, that, trend, that support line, um, the, the the outlook is likely to remain positive. Also, we can see in recent weeks the, uh, this this red line here, the trend moving average, the market's been back above the trend moving average. So the trend moving average is often seen as a good barometer for sentiment. If the market's above the 200 day moving average, uh, it is quite positive. And if it's below the, the 200 moving average, it is uh, it's, it's, it would indicate sentiment is weak. So if we take a look at the price action since April, it's been in a fairly good example of a upward trend, and an upward trend is defined as higher highs and higher lows. Uh, as you can see here, the market push higher, creating a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Granted, this low here did manage to take out the uh, the the low of of late May. But after that, the market did manage to push on higher yet again and take out the, the, the June high. And as I said, go on to hit its highest level uh, since late February. Uh, taking a look at the price action in recent sessions, we can see the market, uh, after hitting the multi-month high, has cooled a small bit. And if you take a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see a slight cooling uh, in, in the uh, in the, in the rate of, of positive momentum. So as the market is drifting lower, positive momentum is cooling as well. So we might see um, this near-term move uh, edge a bit lower uh, before potentially looking to resume the wider upper trend that, that it is in. If the market does, does drift lower from here, we, we could find some, some, some support in around the 25,000 area. It's a big psychological number. And if you go below south of that, support might come into play at this blue line here, the 50 moving average. No, so I would like a support uh, in, uh, in in mid June, uh, sorry, in mid July, and also in in late May. So if it has recent history of acting as support, it may do so again in the future. Even if you go south of there, uh, support might be found at this red line here, the eternity moving average. Notice how it acts as both support and resistance uh, in, in late June and, uh, and early July. So once again, if it's been a significant metric in the past, it's likely to do so uh, again in the future. And even if you drop, drop below that, support might be found in around this area here from the trend line lows uh, of February, um, April and May. And that will come into play in around the 24,000 area. And a break below that trend line would be, would indicate a, um, it could be a, a worrying sign. Uh, and it could indicate that we are looking for further losses. But as I mentioned, the market's been in an upward trend uh, for the last number of months. And if we do manage to kind of push on higher from here, and if you take out last week's uh, last week's high of uh, 25,589, we could be looking at uh, targeting the mid the mid to late high in February at which comes into play at 25,821. And a move beyond that, we we'll then bring the psychologically important 26,000 level into play. And, and if you take out 26,000 Traders will then be looking up towards the January high or the all-time high of 26,706. Uh, if you are trading uh, the, the Dow Jones, keep uh, keep in mind uh, that the Fed Reserve will have an interest rate decision tonight, so we could see additional volatility on the back of that. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.